morning. So today we are going to Goodwood Festival of Speed for the Thursday, the first day. Now it is almost nine o'clock, okay, and I'm not expecting to get there till 11. I know a lot more people have come there a lot earlier, but I've had a very busy few days and I needed the sleep basically. I still don't think I'm awake, but my sister is coming along with me. She's not here, I need to go and pick her up. Um, but I don't think she'll want to be in the vlog. She's not really a social media-y person. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, let's take you along on the journey. <laughs> today it's a very busy day at festival speed today um, but it's the weather's holding off for now apparently it was raining earlier but luckily we got here a bit later so I'm just gonna take you around and show you what's here to be honest we've just had lunch which I'll show you um, and let's just do a little overview of the cars that are here <laughs> car I saw was the Grenadier Quartermaster and I'm thoroughly impressed with it. Apparently it could fit a Euro sized pallet in the back which is quite impressive. I was really impressed with the quality even down to how the door shut. It was brilliant. Such quality but from a Land Rover lover it definitely gives me Defender vibes but I'm here for it and I think it's a great looking car. The Land Rover Jaguar main stand and they've really outdone themselves with how big this stand is and how many of their cars they actually have. So the Range Rover SV, Sport, beautiful. The amount of carbon on that car, unreal. But the price tag, I think it's around £180,000. Not so unreal. <laughs> content of cars as possible but there are a lot of people so bear with me I just stand there trying to get the images without loads of people but it's just not going to happen today but I just want to show you some really cool cars and there are a lot of cool cars it's the first time I've seen the M3 touring in real life like up close and genuinely if I won the lottery that would be my daily Don't gotta hurry in the middle of When you ride 
to the supercar paddock and it seems we turned up at the exact right time because all these amazing cars started coming in. adventure we ended up in Hyundai N and we somehow turned up at the exact right time for the Ionic 5N unveil so it was very exciting and I was a bit confused but here we go ready go what an amazing looking little car ended up in BMW because we had the key and showed them that we were owners and they basically let us in there for half an hour to watch so we saw some beautiful cars go past mainly Porsches at the Porsche parking and it is absolutely incredible I'll show you around let's go I forgot to end the vlog basically I've just got home I'm in comfy clothes now and it started pouring down with rain right as we were leaving and pretty much the whole way home which was about a two hour drive so I'm so glad we arrived later because it was raining in the morning and also left 
when we did because it seemed that we got the perfect amount of the weather um but yes if you enjoyed this video you know what i'm gonna say give it a like and a subscribe to see more content in the future and i promise you guys i'll get better at these endings and i won't forget next time but yes we had a brilliant time um i hope you enjoyed seeing all the cars there were some pretty special cars there today and it was really good fun as ever and again thank you to talos for inviting me see you next time